Hello guys, welcome to GIST TV. Have you ever wondered how structured and organized the Igbo communities were before the British invasion? Today, let's dive into the fascinating world of pre-colonial Igbo democracy. The Igbo people had a very unique system of governance that was both democratic and inclusive. Unlike many other societies, they didn't have queens or kings. Decisions were made by elders and representatives from different families. This ensured that the voices and opinions of everyone was heard and respected. Join me as we explore the intricacies of this remarkable system and uncover the wisdom of Igbo ancestors. Stay tuned for an enlightening journey into the past. I hope you know that democracy isn't just a Western concept. The Igbos practiced it centuries ago. In pre-colonial Igbo societies, the villages ran the show. Each village had their own council of elders known as Ndinze. These wise and experienced folks made decisions through consensus, ensuring that everyone's voice was heard. Age grades also played a crucial role. These are a group of individuals that were born in the same period of time. They handled order and disputes within their ranks. Let's not forget about the women. They had their own societies also, influencing decisions in families and in the general communities. Village meetings were open to all adults. Inclusiveness was key, where everyone's opinions and concerns were on the table. The goal was to get everyone to be in the same page. Although these were not easy tasks, customary laws that was passed down to generations guided the communities. What about accountability? Leaders could be austere if they stray from what is best for the community. The Igbo democratic tradition was all about three things, community, consensus, and inclusiveness. So how is that about ancient democracy? It's a reminder that democracy can take many forms, each unique to its culture and era. The Igbo system shows us that the principle of democracy is universal, transcending borders and times. It is a testament of human ingenuity and enduring quest for fair governance. The Igbo democratic system is deeply intertwined with cultural festivals and ceremonies. This event maintains social order and reinforces community values. For instance, the New Yam Festival marks the harvest season and therefore unites the community. Elders address communal issues and also reinforces laws. The other title symbolized a commitment to uphold community values. Women ceremonies like Omoada gathering resolve social conflicts and ensured community harmony. So there you have it. Don't forget to like this video, share and also subscribe. Follow us and leave a comment in the comment section. Until I come your way again, my name is Uche and this is GIST TV.